In this video, I am making a miniature leather wrap style journal for my professor slash adventurer's office. In my last video, I made the drafting desk with the specimens of the fairy or could possibly be an imp. It was when I was making that that I realised that the professor needs to have a journal and this is just somewhere where he can log all of his studies and his findings. The pages which I'm using to create this journal are some digital files which I purchased on Etsy. I will leave the link to that store if you are interested in purchasing these yourself. The images that I purchased are so beautiful. They have a, a vintage look about them and the colour of the paper is stained and old and vintage and they just work perfect for me in this journal. As the back of my printer paper is stock white that isn't going to do for this purpose so I pulled out some distress inks in tea dye, vintage photo and espresso and or ground espresso and then I blended those onto the back of the paper so that when I cut them out on the Cricut when I turn over the pages, they match the printed images. The files that I purchased from Etsy are actually meant to be life-size junk journaling pages. How I got them so small was I uploaded them onto Cricut Design Space and I then shrank them down so that each individual side sheet would be three quarter of an inch by half of an inch. That then gives me the equivalent to a 6x9 inch sheet of paper in the 1 12 scale. To secure my signatures into place, I use this pin flare book binding glue. I decided to go with this over PVA or wood glue because I know that this stuff is really going to hold these pages into place. I then allowed that glue to cure for a while and I then cut a piece of scrap paper that I had previously stained with the distress inks. I cut that down to size, I then glued that to the spine of the signatures and then I folded over the edges and glued down the sides. I gave the glue plenty of time to cure before I started to decorate the pages with some of the, the mushroom cards in the invoices.
Now to create a cover which looks like leather, I knew that I couldn't use actual leather because it would just be way out of scale and way too thick. Now I have a ton of this material, it is called craft text. Now if you're not familiar with craft text, it is, it is a paper product but it acts like a fabric. It's really hard to tear it. You can put this stuff through the washing machine. I use it to make wallets. I've made bags with it, um, lunch bags, passport holders. It is a really strong material. To get the effect of the leather, I dipped it in some hot water. Well, I left it in there for about five to 10 minutes. I then took it out, scrumpled it up in between my hands over and over and over again. And then to dry it and to iron out the massive creases, I just ran it through the plate of some hair straighteners. Another great quality of this product is that you can color it with many different mediums. You can paint on it, you can stain it, and in this instance, I'm using alcohol markers. Now for the actual leather wrap, I didn't want to go brown. I have so much brown going on in this room already, so I thought that instead of going for a dark brown leather or a tan leather, I'm gonna go with one of my favorite colors, which is green. I used a yellow, or sorry, I used a cucumber and a gray yellow. And those two combined gave me a really nice natural looking variation in the color of the leather. The style of journal which I'm creating is the type where we can remove the signatures or the pages or the booklets from the actual journal. So this type of journal typically has eyelets on the back. So to create the eyelets, I just used a gold metallic marker and just traced around the holes which I previously made. And in this type of journal, we typically have an elastic cord which holds those signatures or those booklets into place. I'm using a waxed cotton for this because if I was to use a regular cotton or thread or embroidery thread it just wouldn't be strong enough and over time it would definitely wear and snap. I feel like this house is developing into something of its own style now and with that I can imagine the kind of person who would live here. We know that he's a professor and an adventurer and so I have decided to create a little backstory for him. A little side note, in September of this year we very unexpectedly lost our cat Sushi Okio and in honour and memory of him gaining his wings I have named the character of this house after him, so he is Professor Okio. Professor Okio is a true adventurer in the prime of his life. He is a professor of botany, zoology and mythology and he uses his passion for these fields to explore the world in search of unique plants, animals and magical artefacts of great international interest. It is now 2023 and Professor Okio has travelled the world for the last two decades in search of the most unique specimens. Every summer he embarks on a new journey, each one more exciting than the last. 
Professor Okio is an avid collector of plants and animals, both living and extinct. He keeps his collection in a three-story Victorian townhouse which he had purchased for his studies and the space to store and collect his finds. The ground floor is filled with his collections of plants and animals, while the second floor is devoted to his research into mythical and magical artefacts. The second floor is where Professor Okio keeps his unusual specimens. Here he studies the fairies, imps, vampires and other mythical and non-mythical creatures and specimens that he encounters on his travels. Professor Okio's unique collection and studies have attracted the attention of many international scholars and collectors. He is often invited to give lectures and workshops and he is widely regarded as groundbreaking. But despite his success, Professor Okio still finds time to enjoy his own adventures. He is often seen walking through the streets of his small English Lake District town, lost in thought, thinking of somewhere new to explore. And explore he does. Professor Okio is an intrepid explorer and researcher and is always on the lookout for something new and exciting. He is a true adventurer who knows no bounds and his enthusiasm for life is infectious. He is a man of many talents and interests. He is a professor, an adventurer and a collector who helps bring the world closer together through his discoveries and research. And that brings us to the end of the video. So as always, thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I shall see you very soon. Take care. Bye.